This required PowerPoint is about the steps in the Christianization process in the Philippines. Christianization of the Filipinos went at an even pace throughout the archipelago. People were introduced to the faith at different times. Still, a good number of inhabitants were exposed to the faith during the period of early evangelization in the years 1565 to 1650. How was the Christian faith introduced to the natives? This is what I will discuss in this short PowerPoint. So you can see here the pictures of the four religious orders uh, plus the, um, actually, there are four religious orders here. Um, on the left, the Dominicans, black and white, the Franciscans in gray, the Recolectos, and the Augustinians, which are both from the Augustinian family, but they operated in, in, in two different um, groups. And you have the uh, Order of St. John, which actually came a lot later, but is quite famous for running uh, the Hospital of San Juan de Dios. The first order that came to the Philippines was the Order of St. Augustine, or OSA. Their emblem is has the heart and the book, the heart on top of the book, because St. Augustine got converted by reading. He heard in the garden a voice of a little child, and he opened the book, and he opened the book, the Bible, in the spot of Saint, um, where it says in St. Paul to the Romans that he should no longer engage in his many different worldly in worldly activities and he should already turn towards our Lord. And he, the heart is also very prominent in the many paintings and also emblems of St. Augustine because he wrote in the early on in his uh, confessions that our hearts are restless until they rest in you, O Lord. And St. Augustine was very famous because he often talked about how, how, how um, about love, the love of God. The next order was the Franciscan order, or the orders of friars minor. The emblem of the Franciscans is this, um, the, the hand of our Lord crossed over, the, uh, the, the arm of our Lord crossed over the arm of St. Francis of Assisi. St. Francis of Assisi um, was known to be very much a, um, a person who lived the spirit of poverty, and this is the way he chose to follow our Lord, by following the our Lord's detachment from worldly goods. And in fact, St. Francis, who was living around the 1200s AD, he was a son of a rich merchant, but he decided to leave his father's house and leave his other uh, worldly activities and simply live the life of a beggar. And by being a beggar, he showed how people can sur surrender themselves totally to, uh, to our Lord. The, the Dominican order, or the order of preachers, was the third order that came to the Philippines. They are quite known in the Philippines because they run schools, also like the Jesuit order in the next in the next slide. But for the Dominicans, they have their emblem is that like these four arrows that look like flowers or flor de lis, but they also look like arrows. And the because the order of preachers was really a very vibrant order that preached against uh, to one people back to the faith at the time when people were already getting attracted by other beliefs, uh, not in the church because the church was, um, some members of the church were given bad example of uh, worldliness and corruption. And it was the Franciscan order and the Dominican order that won them back, won through both through examples of poverty and also because of their knowledge of the teachings of the faith. So the order of preachers, they preach so that people know more about the truth about the faith. And the last order that uh, we have here is the Society of Jesus. So they're the fourth order that came to the Philippines, and they were also founded a bit later in the 1500s by a very uh, active and... Um, like a very impetuous type of um, uh, leader called St. Ignatius of Loyola, a Spaniard. The emblem of the Jesuit order is here. It says IHS um, in Ox Salutis, or it's the, actually that, um, stands for our Lord Jesus Christ. And it has the cross and it has the uh, three nails at the bottom of the H and also the cross coming out of the H. So, St. Ignatius of Loyola was a soldier, but he got very 
terribly wounded during one of his battles and he had to um, stay home to recover but then he ended up reading some books and he ended up um, uh, reading so reading the lives of saints and the life of our Lord so he ended up wanting to surrender his life to God and to repent from his for his past sins especially of worldliness um, this this religious orders can be likened to Saint Christopher who is a bearer of Christ these religious orders bore Christ to the to the world to the new world and more specifically to the Philippines so you can see here more closely the figure of St. Christopher who is dressed in the traditional working clothes of an ordinary ordinary uh, Filipino laborer and on his shoulder is our Lord Jesus Christ. Please, please notice this very beautiful facade of the church which is carved with um, papaya trees, guava trees, and in the middle, a coconut tree.